Let's move to the satsang subject, yogic strategies for health. Asanam. Asanam means sthiram sukam asanam where your muscles are completely comfortable and stable with each other. Asanam being comfortable and stable with other muscles is asanam. Next to asanam, pranayamaha. Please understand, I will put the whole thing in one line. Pranayama is nothing but deep breathing, that's all. Whenever you remember yourself, decide to have at least 11 deep breath, you will have the effect of pranayama. All pranayamas put together. Visualize your breathing up to your knees. That's all. All the 112 various pranayamas. Kumbhaka Patati describes everything boils down to this one truth. This one truth. That is deep breathing. Breathing through your belly and feeling the air up to your knees, knees while standing. Deep breathing awakens the non-mechanical parts of your brain allows you to have this cognizance, the new clearances you carry. Please understand, unless your non-mechanical parts of the brain is awakened, even if you think, I am a clearance of joy, bliss, I am the embodiment of Shiva, no, you will not feel it. You will not be able to connect with it. Only in the high energy, you will be able to connect with all these great ideas. So deep breathing is pranayama, a powerful strategy for health. Just with a deep breathing, give instructions to your body, your body will become healthy. Just with a deep breath, tell your body what you want from your body how your body should respond to life. With a deep breathing, give instruction, it will just follow. It will just follow. The next yogic strategy, a very powerful strategy, Pratyahara. Please understand. I am defining Pratyahara. Having patience for your new clearances to express on your system is Pratyahara. I will give you one example. You say, I am the clearance of joy and bliss. After two, three hours, but I wanted my clearance to happen now. I am the clearance of a harmonious relationship with my husband or spouse. For first one hour you believe, you feel, you cognize. After two hours you say, 
i want this to happen now only then i'll believe the clearance my clearance is working on me now he has to call me or email me tell is love for me only then i'll understand i'll accept this new clearance is working in me don't go on create hindrances for your new clearance to flower it is like you planted the banyan seed now just now and by the time it starts sprouting you try to tell the elephant come on tie the elephant in this tree no allow the sprouting to happen allow the sprouting holding on to the new clearance without falling back to the old clearances with a sincere patience for this new clearance to flower with intense passion and patience is pratyahara either what you do okay then clearance is not going to help me today it's a long term plan forget about it you fall back or you say no it has to work now actually it works no doubt it works but unfortunately you carry many of the past clearances also in corners of your new clearances by the time you think i am the clearance for the harmonious relationship with the with my spouse already few doubts have come in your corner no 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 how is that going to happen so immediately maybe if i follow the same after a few days it will heal i know it will heal because it the ideas are right but see the other book also i read about the psychology and how to be friends with people how to influence people like those patterns like those ideas it'll all work and maybe by the end of next year it'll all be clear it's very unfortunate you bent on proving that nothing new can happen to you nothing good can happen to you you are waiting to prove nothing good can happen to you you are bent on proving nothing new is possible to you having the passions for the new clearance to express itself in you is pratyahara tarana understand tarana means supporting with various logic and ideas maneuvering your new clearance to become a reality is tarana when you see the new clearance doing miracles without calling them as small miracles wow yes when the logic is giving way when the new clearance is opening the new possibilities adding support to the new clearance and the new possibility helping the pratyagatma chaitanya jagrata is tarana tarana connecting to satsang continuously being around the people and ambience where 
these ideas are drilled, practiced. I tell you, living where the intelligent people are living itself is such an extraordinary thing in your life. That is the reason I created the ashram. Understand? In those days, when the Vedic tradition was in its peak, all the people who are interested in enlightenment are requested to go and live in a place like Kashi, Kanchi, the seven universities. We had seven places dedicated for enlightenment. Big universities, Kanchi, Kashi, Mathura, Pata Mathura and Dakshina Mathura. Dakshina Mathura is Madurai of South India, Tamil Nadu. Northern Mathura is the Mathura of Sri Krishna. Mathura means sweet happening. Madhu means sweet. Mathura means sweet happening. Where the sweet happenings of Shiva is South Madurai, Sweet happenings of Krishna is North Madurai. Sweet happenings of Krishna is the Madura of UP. Sweet happenings of Shiva is Madura of South India. It will continue to be the sweet happenings of Shiva. Mahadeva has decided to reclaim his Mathura. See, it's like many of our great souls, they have not become enlightened immediately. They went to Swarga and Kalpagala Varyanta. They lived in Swarga and enjoyed and then they moved to Kailasha to live the enlightenment, to enjoy the moksha. Shivaloka, Shivaloka Prapti. Especially consciously when you choose. See, there are some people who never get the opportunity to choose the place where they are supposed to live. They are born in some rural slums or villages and live in thatched huts, die there itself. Forget about them. It is their choice. But consciously, whoever can choose your place of living, choose based on your clearance. Because your place, the place where you are going to stay is the major decision you are doing to make your clearance into reality or destroy. Please understand. Sometimes people come and tell me, I really make the clearance of enlightenment, but in few days I am drowned. Come on! If you make the decision of living, please understand. Your decision about the place where you are going to stay is an important component of Tarana. Tarana means constantly being reminded and supported about the new clearances you create. The new cosmic clearance centers is what my ashrams and temples and monasteries. Where every day I go on adding new, new clearances to your being. And please understand, you can't be stagnant with any one clearance. Let me be very open. Today, if you have a clearance, I am the clearance of truth and joy. 
it will be so alive vibrant in you after 3 days the same clearance will not be exciting now it is time to have a new clearance but unfortunately any clearance you yourself pick up for you after 2 days or 3 days you will not have respect for it maybe second time third time the clearance you pick up you will have little respect fourth time you you know after four days it is going to lose power over you or you are going to lose power over it that is why once in every few days i go on initiating you in new clearances new 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 clearances see i come up with something once in three four days you will see in your satsang wow you sit up it means i am adding new clearance to you understand i come up with some theory suddenly i come up with a word casual curiosity that will be ringing in you as a clearance for 3 days suddenly one day i will say come on nirahar samyama that will go on be ringing in you as a clearance for 21 days now the first level of levitation the body lifts for a second or something if you can sit on the needle bed and meditate the actual de levitation your body is prepared then the needle bed can be pulled off you can be literally off the sky for few seconds at least a minute or something i know now i am adding into the next clearance anyhow i'll go on come up with something i'll explain clearance means bringing a new vibrating dimension of your own consciousness to your awareness all your clearances are there in you as a seed but bringing them to your life so understand i am using a word many of the intelligent dimensions of your consciousness bringing them to your awareness from awareness to consciousness process is called meditation from consciousness to awareness process is called clearance pratyagatma chaitanya jagrata awakening your individual consciousness specifically for certain experience or power is clearance all of you are clear now so i go on adding mystery school is nothing but constantly adding different different clearances to your consciousness incarnation is a person who goes on playing with multiple clearances without having any contradiction or conflict between different clearances that is why if you come back to the satsang after 6 months suddenly you will not understand even the technical terms i am uttering once in 3 months even the technical terms i am on which my satsang is cognized changes even i don't remember there are many terms there was a time my satsang should be continuously filled with the words pattern engram samskaras now you don't even listen those words in this whole inner awakening i don't know how many times you heard those words i can count
There was the time my satsangs will be filled with the words Kriya, Pranayama, Breathing, Yoga. This whole inner awakening, I don't know how many times you guys even heard that word. <laughs> there was time my satsangs were filled with the Akashic records. Now you even forgot. <laughs> of course, I am going to continue. If you come back after a few months, I myself will be playing the role of a new guru. Experienced one clearance in their life and expressing it to whoever comes to them are enlightened masters. Hinduism is group of clearances. It is not one clearance. That is why each clearance is independently intelligent enough to lead you to the ultimate. Each tradition is on clearance. Is one method for the Chaitanya Jakrata, conscious awakening, inner awakening. The Sanskrit word for clearance is Pratyakatma Chaitanya Jakrata. And if you translate that word into English, Pratyakatma Chaitanya Jakrata, inner awakening. Incarnation's job is go on giving clearances not only to disciples, even to gurus. That is why I decided this inner awakening should be about grooming the gurus. Any one clearance clicks with you if you start living and sharing with the world you will become guru. I am an ocean of clearances. I tell you, I can never be marketed. I will continue to live like this only, being an ocean of clearances. People who picked up one or two clearances from me will digest that and live and they will market that, share with the world. I am Guru of Gurus. So, You can market a two-wheeler and car or car. You can't market A1 force jet. Where right? Force one. Air force one jet. You can't market it. Understand? You cannot have a hoarding for Air Force One jet because it's not going to be available for everyone and all cannot be used, use it. All cannot use it. Because one clearance means you know good and bad side of the whole and you will dive deep and drill and you will stand for it, you will tune with the whole thing and you will be able to transmit it. But by the time you transmit, you yourself will not be having inspiration anymore about the clearance. It would have been dead for you. By the time you packed, it's a preservative food, not fresh cooked food. But here I am, go on cooking fresh food and giving you. Once in every two satsang, new clearances. By the time you catch up with this and by the time it loses power over your inner space, the next is there. And 
title whole day all right today just try to breathe using the whole body and come back next day by next day you will be tired be bored of that next day something else is there constantly having new 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 clearances which does not contradict with each other is the job of incarnation is the space of incarnation i tell you the place where you decide to stay any place and a very important role because this every day new new clearances being added to your system the tarana happens in you if new new clearances are added to your system even today satsang if somebody is just logging in today they can't understand what i am talking hmm you used to talk about patterns i i saw his discourses about samskaras it was so beautiful is is guaranteed solutions about fear lust it was very nice there was a time my every next word will be greed fear greed fear the greed fear word will be the main thread of my satsang there was a time waking deep sleep dream state that was the main theme of my satsang there was a period the siddha san siddha tradition was the clearance of my satsang there was a period omens and portents of death and living and postponing death that was the clearance of my satsang each clearance will be a, just a playlist in our youtube there was a time tps thoughts per second used to be the main theme of my <laughs> satsang now none of you even hear those words but when i give the satsang you will feel wow swami ji has defined his mission this is going to be his mission our only job is to tell people about tps and bringing your tps to zero when i express nirara samyama you said come on now i know from today i'll make the whole world nirahari that is my mission that is swami ji's mission there was a time every day there will be materialization and teleportation i'm speaking about that science there was a time levitation used to be a important clearance subject cognizance in our satsang can you imagine here more than one month 21 days we don't stay with one clearance and every clearance to its depth i wanted to define incarnation incarnation is a person who leads you one step certain into certainty in all uncertain subjects who leads you into further certainty in all subjects of uncertainty whether it is teleporting materialization levitation kundalini awakening ashta siddhis yoga samskara pattern understand all uncertain subjects leading you one step further into certainty is the job of incarnation understand when a next incarnation comes he will lead you one step further into that certainty i'm keeping the possibility open i don't want to say i am the last incarnation no i am very clear i am neither the only son of god nor the last prophet
ఐ ఓన్లీ వాంట్ టెల్ యూ అగైన్ అండ్ అగైన్ అండ్ అగైన్ యదా యదా హి ధర్మస్య గ్లానిర్భవతి భారత అభ్యుద్ధానమ ధర్మస్య తథాత్మానం సృజామ్యహం పరిత్రాణాయ సాధూనాం వినాశాయ చ దుష్కృతాం ధర్మ సంస్థాపనార్థాయ సంభవామి యుగే యుగే కృష్ణ సేస్ క్లియర్లీ డిస్ట్రాయ్ ద నెగటివిటీ అన్ టు అవాక్ అన్ ద పాజిటివిటీ ఎస్టాబ్లిష్ ద అల్టిమేట్ వే ఆఫ్ లైఫ్ ఐ హ్యాపన్ అగైన్ అండ్ అగైన్ I only wanted to add one more word. Even playfully, I have decided to happen again and again. <laughs> Not only with this purpose. Not only with this purpose of Dharma Samsthavan Arthaya. Even playfully to celebrate with the devotees. I'll be happening again and again. Paritranaya sadhunam vinasaya shadushkritam Dharma samsthavanarthaya That is work. Not only for work, even for vacation I come down. Continuously giving you new 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 clearances so that you are never out of the ultimate path giving you all different varieties continuously and same way without missing the essence the essence continues to be same if you heard me in 2003 now 2012 under current the essence is unclutching essence is not changed but so many new 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 clearances tarana means constantly supporting the new new clearances to become a realization in you by the time you are tired of one clearance or bored of one clearance feeling not excited about one clearance the next clearance is already put in your heart how many of you have experienced this that only for few days any clearance excites you and after that you feel oh, raise your hand only you all have authentically worked with clearances if you work authentically with any clearance it will be there exciting you only for few days now something else has to come to enrich you adding constantly new 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 clearances for example you suddenly have a clearance i am the clearance of consciousness and harmony and love and you see love happening to you from outside and inside in that excitement your brain gets washed the washing of the brain happens so constantly having new new clearances becoming reality and understand whenever a clearance becomes a reality and brings you excitement don't be possessive about the clearance your possessiveness to the clearance will make a zoo not a forest in zoo you you see only the likeness of the animals not the animals themselves if 
you keep a lion inside a cage, is it a lion? If you keep a tiger inside a cage, it's a tiger. If you keep a peacock inside a cage, it's a peacock. It's like peacock. It is like lion. It is like tiger. It is not tiger. If you want to see peacock, see in the open fields of South Madura and North Madura. When I was staying in Madura, every day I will never miss going for an evening drive up to Tirumangalam. That's the road. On the fields you will see so many peacocks just dancing. And Tiruparangundram, both roads. So if you want to see lion, tiger, tiger means go to West Bengal, go to that forest near Ganga Sagar, Sundarvan forest. So see them in forests, not in zoos. If you try to possess a clearance, you will build a zoo. So, when a clearance comes to you and makes you celebrate, celebrate, enjoy, when you fall asleep, decide, I won't possess you. If you want to live with me, live. Otherwise, please carry on. Tomorrow, my master will give me another one. He will give me tomorrow another one in the satsang. Say beautiful bye. But then you think, no, no, no. Tattva Masi has clicked me today. And morning again you wake up and say, Tattva Masi, Tattva Masi, Tattva Masi. After 10 days when you read, you will not even understand what it, why you wrote that. How many of you had this experience? Tell me. Let me tell you a story. Mullah Nasruddin, after a long time I am calling him. had three knots in his end of the cloth because he is well known for forgetting things. He made three knots at the end of his cloth. He wants to complete all the three that night. So to remind himself about all the three, he made three knots. The moment he reached the house, first thing, he has to bring water for tomorrow cooking, next day cooking. He did and removed one knot. He has to prepare his bed and he remembered and did that and removed the second knot. Third knot, he could not remember what far he tied. He sat, 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 thought through, thought through, thought through. Almost whole night He's a very sincere guy. He doesn't want to miss or mess up. Next day morning around 5.30 he remembered the third knot he tied thinking after completing these two I'll sleep peacefully. <laughs> First knot I'll bring water for ne- tomorrow cooking. Second knot, I will prepare my bed properly. Third knot, I will sleep peacefully after that. He did not even remember why he put the knot. Only next day after he missed his peaceful sleep, whole night, he remembered the knot. Many times the things you keep to remind you about your clearances become knots. I am the same guy who tell you in the morning satsang, put this in golden letters next to your bed. Uttare atman atmanam atmanam avasadayet atman. I am the same guy who tell you that. And I am the same guy who is telling you that now you don't even remember why you put that. The use of that is over for that time. See, 
every time when i give you the new clearance i make that clearance possess you when the clearance is again and again possess you after some time you become a master for higher clearance is again and again land and possess you all you need to do is to make yourself completely available when a new clearance happens to you without having any reservation i use different different techniques to tell you this clearance is the most powerful and ultimate first i tell you to write it next to your bed then i tell you to write thousand eight times the next click next time i tell you to tattoo it now actually i am finding the next method once i found any other next method of reminding you there will be new clearance maybe i will tell the different parts of the body to tattoo the mala is one clearance bracelet is one clearance kumkum is one clearance the trishula mudra is one clearance everything is a different 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 clearance suddenly one more jivan mukti mala was introduced and the neck that is another one clearance <laughs> almost after a few months <laughs> you lose anything you had early <laughs> You, you when you see yourself in the mirror you feel <laughs> what has happened to me <laughs> but i tell you every clearance just fills your inner space i also come up with some new new inventive ways of reminding you about your clearance <laughs> this nirahara samyam anda is nothing but clearance a new clearance it just clicks you that is why after two months i said if it leaves it's okay allow it to go if it stays with you great no problem if it leaves okay it's okay If you want to eat once in a while please eat if you don't want to eat no problem bringing new new clearances into your life and making them into reality suddenly opens a path in you automatically the new clearances comes and lives through you and you radiate it that is what i call mastery when i said living enlightenment you all of you thought what ultimate clearing is given now ultimate clearance has landed next year suddenly no radiating enlightenment <laughs> wow and no sharing enlightenment and wow exploding enlightenment and still i have five more days to go to come up with the next clearance for 2013 impossible to brand me go back and what will you tell about inner awakening to people you tell anything and send people by the time when they come here it will be different how many first time came to inner awakening raise your hand what all i have been told to you by people have you seen any of that here but i tell you i tell you honestly 
and i declare authentically with integrity this is the best inner awakening i have ever done and the word in the bracket is so far <laughs> so far means what till now the next time when i am going to do i am going to repeat the same word this is the best inner awakening i ever done <laughs> because i am going to come up with some new clearances go on developing human consciousness go on awakening human possibilities i sincerely want a university to be established because each clearance i express can be a separate course and now i declare i am the clearance of a successful incarnation attracting most intelligent disciples to create this university and the wealth everything to make it happen continuously supporting yourself into this new clearances and letting them happen is tarana only thing i want to tell you remind you if you are authentically in integrity with integrity want only enlightenment then pack your bags to bidhi pack or drop your bags that i don't care but been bidhi because the place you live plays a major role in your tarana in your clearances becoming reality let you all achieve experience live express radiate share and explode in eternal bliss nityananda thank you